Heathrow Airport. Yep. I am going to go to Turkey as I am going to get the tummy tucked. And I'm gonna allow you, you guys to share the journey with me. I'm currently here with this one, my little brother. Say hi. Yeah, my little brother. And he's my chauffeur for today. And when I come back, he'll be happy to pick me up too. That's what little brothers do, right? <laughs> he's not usually this nice. He's just camera shy. But anyway, guys, I'm going to um, let you embark on the journey with me. Uh, this is day one. So emotions are very raw. I'm very anxious um, and nervous. And when I get there, I have to do a COVID test first. Um, and then my surgery will be in a couple of days. All being well with the COVID test and everything else. Um, so yeah, watch this space. Hey guys, it's day one. I'm still here. I am out here in Turkey. I am currently waiting for my COVID-19 results. Um, I told them yesterday as I landed and I'm currently waiting for them. Um, so waiting around is boring. Let me just get it out there real quick. Uh, the internet here in the hotel is quite shit. It keeps going down. At the moment it's down. Um, and yeah, it's intermittent and I'm just like, I'm over it. Really, I should have like downloaded a book or something to watch on my phone, but I did it. Guys, on another note, yeah, like, two year girls bored and thing, yeah. <laughs> I swear, look what's been my best friend. Look, 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 look. Yeah, reception. I call them all the time now. They're like, hello. <laughs> Literally. I, I literally I call them all the time. I'm like, hey, uh, yeah. you know they want to get off the phone, but I don't want them to get off the phone because I ain't got no one else to talk to. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So guys, um, tip: if you're traveling abroad to get surgery done, um, bring something to do because you start getting on staff's nerves and shit. Yeah. But anyway, your girl gonna be looking trim real soon. So, um, yeah, I'm waiting for my COVID-19 results. And as I said, oh, did I tell you guys? Yesterday, when the woman was doing the test, the COVID test, yeah? The way she pushed that swab stick down my throat, she touched my tonsils. Like, anything that was on my tonsils, my girl, she scraped that ish off. Trust me, pandas. And then she then put the swab stick in my nose. And I was like, and she was like, no, 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 don't move. She went to the next nostril, and I swear she was trying to go past my nose into my brain, right in my head. She was trying to do that. She was. And I was like, B, I don't know who upset you, but please take your time with me. Please do. Because um, she did that to me and I, I had to take it, you know, because obviously the bigger picture is real. But anyway, guys, um, I'm here. I'm out here. I'll keep you posted and I'll let you know what happens next. Okay, peace out. Bye. Good morning guys. Okay, this is day two in Turkey and surgery day. Yes, so your girl is going to have surgery. I got a text last night from my coordinator or one of the coordinators because it seems it appears there's two. Um, I got a text from one of the coordinators to say the driver's coming at 6.45 this morning. Hmm, I know it's real early but um, they i will be going to the hospital to do tests blood tests and stuff and then i will also have an actual face-to-face -face, 
um, consultation with the surgeon and um, yeah actually have the operation they said my op is scheduled for the morning but it is a high chance of me being pushed back to the afternoon which I'm hoping not because your girl hasn't eaten since yesterday and by this afternoon I don't know how I'm going to be feeling by judging from other people that's had it probably really rough but you girl want to get a little food inside her you know I shouldn't I mean food should be my the least of my worries right now I mean that's why I'm in this problem so yes she's having her talk today and guys um well I guess this is the last for you before I get it done uh I'm also having a BBL mm -hmm. so it's a massive operation as you guys know I am feeling really 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 nervous really nervous um However, I'm going to try and calm my nerves. I'm going to be saying a few prayers. Um, I'm nervous because, I'm not even nervous because of the results. Now, a lot of people say, like, oh, I bet you're so excited about the results, etc. Um, possibly, but that emotion is not the forefront emotion. Right now, the, the, the emotion that's at the forefront of my mind is I'm nervous because I want to ensure I have a successful surgery. And that is the main thing. So, yes, a lot of prayers is going to be happening today. One last view of the bod. So this is the tummy that I will be tucking. Yep. You guys can see that. Some people say, oh, it's not that bad. But it is. Look at that. It looks like I'm flipping pregnant. And girl had her last pregnancy 12 years ago, nearly. Your girl ain't been pregnant. She ain't trying to get pregnant. And yes, so I'll either see you in the hospital for another quick video or you'll see me on the other side okay take care bye hi guys this is the day after surgery i wanted to do a quick feed yesterday but um i was too out of it with the anesthetic um still very sore but manageable walking is fine i think it's probably more comfortable than laying down um, I've not yet seen my body. I can't wait to see what it looks like. Um, my stomach, I don't even, I can't even feel my stomach. Like, to touch, I can't feel it. Um, so yeah, I'm just looking forward to in a day or two when I, I don't even know when they're going to let me see the hot. So they don't have no long mirrors. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing my body. This is last night, tonight, here, and then back at the hotel, so I will definitely see it tomorrow with all the mirrors in the hotel. I'm feeling fine. I just, there's times when I, it gets a little bit painful, but nothing that I can't manage. Um, I'm a bit out of breath at the moment because I've not long got back on the bed and I, and I felt that pain. Ooh, I felt it. Um, but yeah, the nurses... Um, not many of them speak English, hardly any. However, they've been really good to me. They help me. Um, so, yeah. I, I can't really complain at the moment. I'm being discharged from the hospital now. And I'm going to the hotel. Um, we're going to get my medication with the coordinator. And um, the nurse will come in two days time to take out my drains because I have drains attached to me um, my hospital care has been quite good and this is the next stage not sure how I'm going to cope back in the hotel on my own um, but let's see how I get on <laughs> and you get a full body a full body once a full body image should I take a picture? No, I'll do this video. You get a full body video when I get back to the hotel. Okay, ciao for now. Bye. Hey guys, this is five days post op. I'm in my fart Um, I've had a tummy tuck, a lipo, and BBL. So my butt looks crazy right now because it's in the far half. 
uh, it's pushing it up because it's tight here and it's tight here so it pushes it down to give it more shape so it looks crazy it looks nicer than this out of the far half but um you can see my hourglass shape i haven't got a bra on at the moment so that's the reason why i've got my t-shirt on but i'm happy with my results you will get a full rundown video in part two